Hi, I'm Scott Shelby here at the SEMA Group in London to talk about the bond or the 10-year Treasury yield. And that one it really has been the thing that we've been talking about as of late. It's supposed to tell us a lot about what might be happening in the future. Let's start with the fact that it's been pretty quiet. It's been all over the place, but as of late, it's been pretty quiet. We had that mid-May high of 3.11%, and then the two-week precipitous decline down to like 2.78%. 2 uh, now we're right kind of in the middle, bouncing around 285, 283, 286, depending on the day. Uh, but it's been kind of quiet, and things have settled down. A lot of times that's due to the fact we just had the July 4th weekend, but we're also going into the summertime, and there's a little bit of a summer lull. But right now, smack dab in the middle, of the recent highs that we set in the middle of May for 3.11 and the, the end of May, which was 2.78%. Um, also, we, how do we talk about the tenure without talking about the tariff tiff, right? And what that might mean as far as a global slowdown. I think a large part of what we've seen as this bond rally and these yields dropping has been a little bit of a flight to safety as investors get worried about what President Trump might do globally <clears throat> and how this tariff tiff might hit our yields and the global economy and a worries of a global slowdown. So that global slowdown has driven bonds higher as a place where folks have wanted to park some capital and that's driven yields lower. And then lastly, we've talked about as of late <clears throat> how sometimes when we see these short-term rates kind of overtake the long-term rates and that has been a, a good sign for recession. Every recession has started with say an inversion of the yield curve, but you know, more and more information is now starting to come out to say that that might not, you know, might not possibly be the case. That might not be the canary in the coal mine because we've never had the Federal Reserve involved in our <coughs> interest rates as much as we've ha had as of late with quantitative easing. So we might have to park that aside, and investors might not to be so worried about what might be happening as far as a recession goes because of inversion in the bond yield rather than maybe keep an eye on what the ratios look like in the equity market, and they still look okay. So that's it from me. Bonds are going to still tell us what's ahead. Let's keep an eye on them for next week. I'm Scott Shelley here at the CME Group in London. I'll see you again next week.